Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today's grocery haul consists of a little bit of Sam's Club and a little bit of HEB. It was about $140 total and you'll see why I didn't get that much for that price when I show you what all that I got. So if you've been following my daily vlogs and you know I've been doing keto again, we have a lot of meats and frozen vegetables, pantry stuff for the girls. Like when I stocked up on all those things for back to school, we still have plenty, plenty of that stuff. Still have a lot of meat, um, but I needed some more like keto friendly snacky items and then the girls needed fresh fruit. We still have a little bit of fresh vegetables. I did buy a little bit, um, but like I said, we have lots of frozen, but we are starting to run a little lower on fruit. And then I picked up some stuff from I almost said Costco, Sam's. Most of it, like I said, is keto friendly aside from the fruit. So let's jump right in. Okay, starting on this side, if you do keto, then you know you can have these Powerade Zeros. I bought some uh, maybe last week when I first started, just a couple to get me through the weekend. And I actually really like them. I drink about half of one a day. So I got two Fruit Punch and I have two of them. <laughs> I'm using two of them to hold up my chips over here. So I got two fruit punch and orange. I've never had the orange, so I don't know if I like it or not. The ones that I had last week were the, what is this one? Mixed berry and the grape. So I have three grape, two mixed berry, one orange, and two fruit punch. I like the fruit punch too, but like I said, I don't know if I like the orange. So I just got one. These were on sale at HEB for 68 cents. So not a bad deal. And then um, I wanted, I've been craving... So I've been on keto almost a week. Tomorrow it'll be a week. And I've been wanting some like chocolate and stuff. And I know these things can be pretty, like they can upset your stomach if you have too many. So last time I got them, last time I was doing keto, I just had like one instead of a serving size of five. <laughs> but it's nice when you have like a little sweet tooth, especially with Halloween in a month. It's nice to have something sugar free to you know have a little sweet treat so i picked up the um, hershey special dark sugar free and the russell stover sugar free the assorted pack so it comes with the dark chocolate mint patties the peanut butter cups the pecan delights and the toffee squares and it comes with this is a large pack it comes with quite a bit so i'm excited for that and then I picked up these, but again, if you watch my vlog from today, HEB was having some technical difficulties. So the only reason I picked these up is because they were buy one, get one free with an HEB coupon, but it wasn't working today. I have to go back and get my money back. So these were $1.98 and it was buy one, get one free. So I got some sugar-free Lifesaver mints, um, the Pepple Mint and the Winto Green. And these are, no, well, it's 15 carbs, but there's 15 grams of sugar alcohol, which is like a... Um, sweetener substitute so they're technically no carbs if you're doing keto and then I bought these for the girls they love 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 these gummies love them and again they were supposed to be buy one get one free so I picked up two packs for them just for a little sweet treat they like those some quest bars we're running low and the only one we have left is a chocolate peanut butter and it's nasty I don't like it my favorite are the um, mint chocolate chunk ones, but you get four in here, and I didn't want to get two. I wanted to try some other flavors, so this is where a good bulk of the cost came in because the this is $7.50 for one pack, and keep in mind, all this stuff I'm showing you was about $100. $7.50 for one, and then each of these is $2. So there's another 10 so almost $20 just in Quest Bars. So these things can be pretty pricey. I kind of want to find a few flavors that I like and order them on Amazon. You can get them in bulk, like in a 12-pack for a little bit cheaper per bar. Um, but this one's Cookies and Cream, Oatmeal Chocolate Chip. I don't think I tried this one last time. I, I know I like Cookies and Cream and the Chocolate Chunk. Um, birthday Cake I don't remember trying last time. And then the Vanilla Almond Crunch I haven't tried either. And then this one's new to me as well. It's the Quest Hero. It's a chocolate uh, caramel pecan. This one is a little bit different because they're using the Alolos. I don't know if it'll focus on that. Alolos as, there, maybe you can see it. So it's saying it's four net carbs, but I'm not sure what Alolos is. So I'll have to look into that. But anyway, I got that stuff. And then uh, my best friend Bia, gets this from H-E-B. It is almond butter. 
and it's almond nut butter spread from the bulk section and it's $6.99 a pound so I got a little under half a pound so it was $2.90 but I, it has zero carbs and I really want to try it. I love peanut butter as like a little snack but regular peanut butter does have I think it's like six net carbs for two tablespoons so this has zero. I'm curious to try it and see if I like it. Uh, we needed some more ranch, so I went ahead and got the buttermilk ranch. This one has two net carbs per two tablespoons, so but it's got a good amount of fat in it. Um, we're having my nephew Anderson's birthday party here, and I'm going to be making my cilantro jalapeno dip. <laughs> Had to think about that. And we forgot to pick up chips at Sam's, so I picked up two just restaurant-style chips. I won't be eating these, but this is for everybody else, so I picked up two of those. And then the pork rinds I can eat, so I picked up for myself salt and vinegar, barbecue, and one chile lime. And then on the desk picked up hot and spicy habanero and one chile lime for him. The almond milk was on sale, so this is the Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Coconut Blend. I wanted to try this, it's the unsweetened version, and I believe this has, yeah, just one carb for one cup. So that's a nice way to do like a little smoothie or just to have if you're, you know, wanting some milk, you can't have milk on keto. So I decided to try that. Also for the girls, if they like it in smoothies, um, like I said, I'm making my dip. So I have some cilantro here and some fresh jalapenos. If you have never seen my dip before, I will link it down below. I have a video on my channel of it love it it's a hit i'm making it for the party on sunday and i'm also making it for andres's work he's having like a employee appreciation potluck at his work and i'm making it for them and then i needed some more carb sense tortillas these are my favorite and only four grams of net carbs per, per tortilla some zucchini is pretty much this and carrots and not even really carrots but this is like the only vegetable green beans broccoli spinach this is like the only thing that I'll eat while I'm on keto. So I bought some of those. The girls needed some grapes. So I picked them up black grapes. Those were on sale. A couple bags of baby carrots because they needed those. We still have some celery and green beans. And then, like I said, a bunch of frozen vegetables, bananas to get us through this weekend. And two pounds of strawberries, again, for them to get through this next weekend. So that I have some stuff in the fridge I'll show you in a minute. But that was everything I have out for HEB. And then over here is Sam's. I have the Parmesan crisp. I was like wanting some sort of chips or something. So I picked these up. They're like the wisps. They're the Sam's version of the wisps. And then um, the girls, some seasoned croutons. They like to snack on those or put them on salads or whatever. And then these have actually quite a bit of carbs considering, you know, depending on what kind of keto you're doing. It's six grams of net carbs and you get one ounce. And you actually, I've had these before. You actually get quite a bit for your one ounce. So, you know, if you have the room for it, definitely worth a try. They're the Sweet Smoky Barbecue Protein Crisps, and they're delicious, we've had them before. Um, we got a big thing of mayo to make the uh, dip. Like I said, we're, I'm making it for his work plus the party. Another thing of ranch seasoning, again, for the dip. I saw this and I thought this was interesting. I've been wanting to go to Trader Joe's and try their everything but the bagel seasoning. And Sam's had this. This is the, is it Tones brand? Everything bagel seasoning blend. And it was fairly inexpensive. I want to three, say three something. So I'm curious if any of you guys have tried this one in comparison to the Trader Joe's one. If it even compares, let me know. We were completely out of picante. So I picked up at Sam's. Um, Costco has the medium version. We like the mild, so I picked it up from Sam's. And then some pepperoni, and these have no carbs, so for pizzas or for snacking, it's the good kind. I typically buy, I think this was around $10, I typically buy um, the turkey pepperoni, like four packs, which is still $10, and you get way more in this pack than in the turkey ones from HEB, so pick that up. Over here, I got myself a pumpkin to go up up in the front on my decor this guy was only three something and actually because of the inconvenience we ended up getting it for free from HEB so yes this is decoration you could totally do whatever you want with him but for us it's decoration and then I saw that Glade had this out they had a bunch of different fall 
slash holiday scents. This one is Cozy Autumn Cuddle, and it's Heirloom Pumpkin, Caramel, and Spice, and it smells so good. So I just picked up one can. This was under a dollar um, so that we can have a nice fall smelling house. Now let me show you guys what's in the fridge. Okay, I put this stuff away because it was starting to get warm out. So I have a big thing of sour cream, again, for my dip. Some heavy whipping cream just for either coffees or recipes or snacking, like to actually make heavy whipping cream to have go with, you know, keto treats and things like that. And then in here, I was going to buy my own avocados and make my own guac. This is $7 and the avocados were like $1.50 each and I didn't think I could do it cheaper. So I just picked it up ready made. That should last us through the weekend. And then... The only other thing I bought in here is a big thing of cheese, the Colby and Monterey Jack, and this is for snacking, homemade Lunchables, recipes, whatever I need it for. And then lastly, I picked up two ice creams, the Halo Top Red Velvet and Enlightened. I've never had the Enlightened ice cream like this, so let me know what you guys think. Battle between Halo Top and Enlightened. I've had the Enlightened ice cream bars, and they're really good, but I've been wanting to try this movie night one. And so Halo Top is actually on a really great deal. There was a $1.50 coupon in one of the inserts. I don't know. It doesn't expire until 10-1, so if you still have it, at HEB, they're $3.88. It's $1.50 off, so that brings it down to $2.38, and then there's a dollar rebate, or dollar um, scannable thing on Ibotta, so you get a dollar back and then a 50 cent reward. So that brings it down to a, like $1.80, which is insane, not even 88 cents. Like That's crazy to me that you can get Halo Top for under a dollar just by using the additional coupons. So anyway, yeah. Hopefully you guys go check that out. I'll have my Ibotta link down below if you want to join my team. I redeemed that twice this last time, plus I got my 50 cent bonus, so pretty good. That was the haul for this week. I definitely will be back in the next few weeks just to get other basic stuff. Like I said, this was some filler fruit. We're going to be gone the entire weekend, so I really didn't want to get too, too much of the perishable things. A lot of it is snacky items for me to supplement with my meals that I've been making, meal prepping and taking for lunch. I've kind of been sticking to almonds and string cheese and I like to mix it up a little bit on keto. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below some of the things that you've been picking up recently or if you're doing keto. It's been a long time since I've done keto. So if you're doing keto, let me know in the comments below some things that I still need to pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.